Hello world and welcome to the vlog. My name is Artemis and this is a space for anybody looking to reinvent their life. How about these views? Don't they just want to make you subscribe to this channel? I cannot get enough of these views. You see that round mountain back there? That's the Mount of Transfiguration. Jesus picked a couple of his disciples to go up there to witness a spectacle like no other. You see, a lot of people watched Jesus perform miracles and do amazing things and heard his teachings, they followed him. But only a couple of people in this world got to witness the transfiguration. That was an exclusive event. It was a shining light that came upon Jesus and he became radiant and all of a sudden Moses and Elijah appeared and Jesus was speaking to them and the disciples are watching this whole thing. I'm sure they're freaking out like in a good way and uh, they get Jesus and they're like, hey, let's build a couple of um, shelters up here for, for you guys to dwell in. What they saw there was such a one-of-a-kind thing. It was an event like no other. They wanted to preserve it. They wanted to have a keepsake for it. And don't we do that? We see something amazing and we want to keep it. We want to, we want to hold on to it instead of sharing it with others. What the disciples should have done is go get their friends so that they can together watch this site. And that is something that we do all the time. We try to hoard things for ourselves. Success comes in so many shapes and sizes and there are so many different variables that I don't know if there is any one singular definition that we can give it. But there is a core value to it that we have missed. In today's society we have linked success to money, to fame, to you know, doing what we want. And that, in principle, is the wrong way of looking at it. Success is something that we need to understand so that we can teach our children, because it's not what society says it is. It's not about hoarding, it's not about having something exclusive, it's about sharing, it's about giving. Whenever we try to define a complex subject like success or any other, we have to boil it down to the simplest of terms in order to understand what it really means. So take like this, this plant for example. Right? Is it successful in its existence? What does it take for it to be successful? Like I just killed it, basically, right? Does that make it unsuccessful? Or its friend over here? It's still alive, it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing, it's still striving for something. Right, it's going to drop its seeds onto this rock and they may or may not take root and they may not ever produce anything. Is that successful? Contrary to popular belief, money, fame and exclusivity are not at the core of success. It's something completely different that we have overlooked. Real success is based on generosity. We simply cannot try to have it all to ourselves and think that we're successful. No amount of fame or money or accomplishments can make us successful unless we give it away. So what is it about this plant that makes it successful? It has to die. It's got to give up what it has in order to accomplish its goal. We live in a consumer society, so as consumers, children are not taught to give anything. We're not taught to be generous. So generosity ends up something that we learn very weight in life when we have too much and we, we start feeling that, that we need to contribute something. It should be the other way around. Here's a way to check if you have a consumer outlook. When was the last time you looked at somebody or something to see what you can give instead of what you can take? You can start contributing even today. There are plenty of things that you can give. You can share this video with somebody and if you're new to this channel, you can give a like or you can give a dislike. By all means, if you hate this video or any of the other videos that you see here, I'd love to see a dislike and I want to hear why you hate them. 